This past weekend, I had a chance to catch Amazon's super successful billion dollar show, Rings of Power. Amazon showed the first three episodes, and I noticed immediately upon viewing that the budget for a lot of the set designs, costumes, and special effects have been dialed up a notch, which is good. What irked me and kind of was in the back of my mind as I was watching more episodes was the same feeling that I had when watching season one. There's a lack of consistency in storytelling across the different plot lines. You know, how Brand Sauron, uh, the elves, dwarf plot lines versus the human Numenor, Harfoot, maybe Gandalf plot lines. The, the former has a more stronger, more engaging viewing experience versus the latter, you know. I noticed also that there's a stream lack of chemistry between some of the on-screen characters. So let's discuss it. Pretty much in season two, I really loved the first episode. It showed a character that I was dying to know more about. Um, and the brutality of a lot of those scenes were really, really awesome. Um, I even liked some of the camera work. The camera work looked really, really good. But I had a feeling in the back of my mind like this, this happy feeling, this satisfying feeling as I'm watching episode one was, was dwindling away, was withering away. And to my, to my surprise, which really was a surprise, I was right. Um, there are just so many characters in this show. So many characters that some characters are just ancillary periphery characters that you really don't care about because they weren't written with enough meat on their bones. They come into a scene and they see how strong and how awesome and how important they are. And it just doesn't translate well. You like, you shouldn't have to say how awesome you are. It should just show through the world. It should just show through the characters and rings of power and the show runs to some extent haven't really done a really great job developing that from a writing standpoint. <clears throat> like I said, some of the characters lack depth, focus and purpose. For example, Queen Regent Muriel of Numenor. She was blinded in the last season uh, during that battle and she comes in, she's supposed to be like an Elwyn, you know, archetype or whatever. Um, but there's just nothing that strikes me that she's a character I should sympathize or root for. Same thing with the sealed door. I know he has a lineage to Aragorn. I know he's legendary in his own right within the books, but in the show, I'm just not connecting with him. I'm just not seeing like, yeah, that's Aragorn would definitely do that. Aragorn would definitely say that. I, I know he's like his ancestor or whatnot, but the heir, his ancestor, but I'm just not, I just don't really care about him. And there's so many other characters where I should care about him. They have all the blueprints on why I should care about him, but the show just doesn't flesh those out. And I'm seeing more in season two where it's only the first three episodes. So, you know, don't take it too harshly um, that I'm not getting that, that connection with a lot of those characters. You know, hell, certain characters, certain actors that decide not to even come back in season two, you know, seeing how the show treated them in this season. Um, I really don't care if they didn't come back. It really, they really were inconsequential to the whole show. Like the show built them up to be very, very, you know, important. But, you know, because decisions were made and valid decisions on their part, um, it just in terms of larger grand scheme of things, in terms of how they interacted with the story they just seem so isolated, so meager that them not being in the show, other than that scene, that one scene that they showed, I forgot they were in the show. I, I, that, that's how, that's how awful it is, you know? And you know, the one, you know, the person I'm talking about, I'll probably put the character's picture on screen. Um, I don't care about the Harfoots. I, every time they come on screen, it's just like, Jesus Christ. Like, like, I know they're helping maybe Gandalf get to where he needs to go and they're growing in the process, but it, it just, as they're traveling the desert room, I, I just, nothing is connecting with me. And there's a lot of characters in the show where I'm just waiting for them to move off screen. So we get back to Halbrand, so we can get back to Elrond. So we get back to, you know, during the fourth, you know, all these characters, I really, really like that. They spent Celebrimbor. All these characters were spent really a lot, a lot of time developing them, building up them. And I, I just want to see, and we have to kind of move in this other direction. I, and I know that's part of the story, but it, it's just not connecting well with me. You know, since there are only like three episodes, I can't really give a definitive review. 
this is just my basic brief thoughts on what I thought so far. That's being said, I can tell that the showrunners have put in an earnest effort in raising up a lot of the budget, a lot of the set designs, like I said before. It's just in terms of engagement, besides the first episode um, and some of the set pieces and special effects, I, 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 I'm just not, I'm just not in it. And I'm being, feels like I'm being forced to kind of like sit through and watch some of these ancillary characters, you know, babble on, but not really make a connection, not really bringing up that. The same vibe and feeling that I had in watching the, the legendary trilogy. Um, I know they try to do their best to kind of veer away from what Peter Jackson did and, and focus on their own stuff, but it's so noticeable that, you know, we need somebody that was working with Peter Jackson. We need somebody in that camp kind of knowing what he did to inject some type of life, some type of consistency, because it's just, I'm just not connecting with it emotionally. And Lord of the Rings is an emotional, awesome, legendary fantasy property. And I'm just, I don't want to hate watch it. I, I don't, I don't want to get to that realm, but it, it's just, I don't feel it's, it, I wouldn't say torture because there are some really great elements. It's not a bad show. It's just that I wish the writing, the directing, the, the careful craftsmanship of the movies was somehow translated into the show. Like you guys have all this money and other than the, the, other than the visuals, I don't see where the development in times in terms of story and characters went to. I don't see I don't see that on display, and I don't I know it's early to call. I don't really see it in the first few episodes. So instead of just like going on with the drum, I'll wait until the rest of the season's done. Of course, I'll give my review, but as of right now, I, I just I could care less about this show. Um, would I want every show to be like Fallout? <laughs> would I want every show to be like Arcane? Yes. You know, I, I don't know why. Um, I don't know why I expect that. You know, I, I should just expect what I'm given and deal with it. But it's really hard when Amazon has been advertising that this show costs a billion dollars. And I, I'm other than the visuals, other than the locales, other than, you know, you know, the, like I said, the visual pieces, I'm not seeing where it matters and which is the story the careful craftsmanship and the camera work and the direction. Um, there are some great directors that are, that are behind the scenes working on this show, but it, it just feels like it just feels so basic when it could just be so much more when you could got just, when you have, you can just blow the doors on this show and you, you're choosing not to. So, yeah, um, that's all I got. If you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Um, and that's all I got. Cabs out.